Hello everybody and welcome back to Hoff Bergman. So as you can see, our field here is looking good. It isn't actually ready yet, although it does look ready. It just has to fully ripen. So it's going to be either later today or in the next episode when we can come and harvest this. And then we're going to put it into the dryers and create dried grain. So uh, yeah, we're going to start off by um, testing something. This was actually a recommendation from one of my viewers. Now you can see here we have an animal bedding purchasable supply uh, in the store and it does say this high quality animal bedding meets the highest requirements for rearing chickens and horses it offers an alternative to loose wood shavings from the joinery now we do have ducks and it doesn't say ducks there but the ducks are in the chicken enclosure so I'm gonna risk 45 pounds maybe a bit more than 45 pounds don't know how much we actually need probably get two bags two yeah, bags. They're, they're in plastic wrap, I think. And yes, we're going to try this, even though it does say chickens and horses. Because, uh, yeah, we should be able to... Um, we should be able to give the, the ducks wood shavings. Because that is their bedding. Um, yeah, so we'll just try it out. The selfie is coming along very nicely as well. We will be cutting that later in the year. It's already late summer, so it won't be too long. Looks like a really nice crop. I'm a bit early. I think it opens at 8. It might be 9. We do have the opening times just over here. 8 o'clock. Brilliant. Any second. And now. Yes, I was very lucky with the timing, actually. That was unintentional. Okay, so yeah, they're pretty big. It's like wood shaving bales. Just pop them into the back. I don't know what we have to do with them yet. Uh, if you can uh, just drop them into a trigger, or if to if you have to cut them open or something, I'm not too sure. But we'll soon find out. Let's go. This is going to be an interesting test because I'm sure um, if the if the chickens can have this, the ducks would be able to. And here we are. Yeah, so um, there are a few things which uh, many people want me to do. Uh, go to a cellar. Apparently there is a wine cellar. I'll have to take a look at that at some point. And also uh, something to do with the dog. Okay, so where would the obvious place be? I guess inside. Ah, there we go. <laughs> um... I think I just stood here with it. Just has to be slightly off the ground, as is the case with many things. So that should. Oh, look at that! Everything looks like the clover's ready. Show me to own it. Yeah, that should all be looking very good on here. Okay, it seems to have disappeared. The requirement. <laughs> um. Well, that is obviously good news because we have sorted it. We will have to incubate some eggs at some point as well. But I think probably for today we are done with the ducks. We're done with the ducks. And yes, I need to find a sensible place to put this. Maybe just tuck them into the corner. We didn't need to as it turned out. But you never know. One day we may need to have a bit more. Even though the requirement has disappeared. Maybe, the, maybe it should have disappeared when we put the ducks in there in the first place. Right, let's keep the ducks in there. They don't want to be getting out. Close the gate and then jump over it. It's a good way of doing it. And they're producing duck eggs. The grass is ready once again. Now, I didn't actually want to do the grass again so soon, but since it is the only thing ready, we're going to have to. But we're not going to do it the same way as before, because that was very slow. Uh, we're going to use... Well, actually, we have this already. Look, we can see that we have the front mower, but we don't have the rear mower. So if we just rent that for £2,000, then we can get that whole setup going. And I think it would be best just to very, very quickly get that put into the pit. We're gonna put it into the pit and ferment it instead of using the fermenter. Just because it's a different way of doing things. So it has to go into, I think it's this one here. Yes, it has to go into here. Uh, this will be a relatively fast job. 
and I'm going to use our new case. Next time, we're going to be harvesting the wheat and we're going to be drying it. So I'm really looking forward to that. I did want to do that today, but obviously it's not ready and we can't rush things. We don't need to go too crazy with the uh, the silage because we already have loads of silage bars given to us. I think the mower is near the yard. Actually, before we do, somebody said that they wanted me to buy a dog. They're quite expensive, aren't they? Um, okay, a Jack Russell Terrier. Confirm that. Where's my dog? Where's my dog? Come out, dog. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Speaking to it as if I'm a businessman. How <laughs> it doesn't like us. Or does it? I actually know nothing about dogs. I'm uh, a cat person. In there. In here. Come on. Is that how you talk to a dog? I don't know. Not under the trailer. We don't want to be calling you squash. Okay, so yeah, we have to go and buy some dog food. Premium dog food. That should be enough. Uh, just wondering if we can pick that up with the mower. Probably not. Yeah, it's probably not. I'm going to have to race over there quickly. I'll go and get it. Stay there, dog. We need to find a name for it. Not squash. <laughs> Yeah, just think if we had a three-point linkage, we could actually put that onto the back of here. We'll be doing a wheelie, but at least it'll be attached. You can actually get a three-point linkage, but not for this gator, it's for the other one. For the Isaria Scout. Okay, turn the engine off here. I'm guessing you do just lift it up and then put it over there. Yep. Emptying the dog biscuits into the bowl, which is much better than the vanilla game. Um, so that didn't look like it filled it properly. Yeah, it looks like it will take quite a bit, but we at least the dog has enough. Uh, I don't even know if you can change the name, actually. It doesn't look like you can do. So it is just Jack Russell Terrier. But we can still have a name. Just It doesn't have to be official. What shall we call him? Anyway, yes, I'm in the middle of... I'm supposed to be in the middle of mowing. So <laughs> let me go and get the rear mower. And then we'll begin. We can actually have the front mower attached to the rear mower. Which we might do. It is better for the tractors where you can swivel the seat all the way around and drive backwards. Although that would become forwards. But yeah, we can still do it. Let me just get this right. It looks like the blades are at the front there, so... Yeah, that must be the right way around. Sometimes I do to get this right. It might be still wrong, but... Just make sure it works. Yeah, considering it's not fitting. <laughs> that's a, a pretty good sign. But it is incorrect. Stop unfolding. And it actually shouldn't take too long to do this. But it's not going to swath it, which is unfortunate. I don't think it's a swathing mower. Well, not one which puts into a central swath. There we go. So it was wrong. Uh, we might need a front weight, although it's a big track to this. Unfold those two. Start with the headland. Yeah, we should be. The front mower should be the part which is mowing first. Um, I guess we could put it on the front. Uh, nothing's stopping us, but it does seem a bit more unusual to do it that way. Anyway, I don't want to get too involved with this. We just need to get the grass cut. Yeah, it, it doesn't look right. Anyway. It's just. Get the whole thing lowered. And there we go. Yeah, so I, I can put it on... Well, I could have put it onto a, more of a swath, I think. But, again, it would be three individual swaths, so it still has to be rowed up. 
but that is good and we're cutting all the grass this time because it's fully grown whereas before it was leaving the tram lines because it hadn't fully grown yet as we had driven on it that's good that's very good uh, I actually actually I could put a windrow on the back how cunning I have decided to be even more clever about this we're going to do it with three different machines me and two other workers so we have me mowing we then have the windrow in the middle just here on the Steyr tractor and then behind all of that we have the class with the loading wagon so the plan is to get this field completed uh, fully uh, uh, right, done from start to finish in this one episode uh, instead of dragging it over to another episode that is the best way of going about things uh, as we've done it before so I just need to make sure that that is all switched on otherwise we're going to do the usual trick of having it following uh, but doing nothing at all which is completely pointless so we'll just test things the windrow is wider than the mower so it has a bit of uh, room to play with if it like when it's turning for example plenty of room to maneuver looking good uh, the only thing is I will have to go and empty the uh, loading wagon when it gets full because I haven't got course play set up or anything although that would be a very good idea although the entrance to the farm is quite narrow so it might cause a bit of an issue so let's go again but this time let's go for good I don't know how fast the windrow is going to be able to go all I know is if I turn too tightly it's going to miss bits so I need to be quite careful with my turnings but yeah I'd like to go around the headland twice if possible that looks good yes of course the windrow could miss something and then the loading wagon could miss something if you turn too tight but this field is 100% fertilised and you can tell there's a lot of grass on the surface right, so it is um, getting away a bit but it doesn't matter too much because we are going to have to keep stopping anyway to empty it's not a massive field but it was pretty big for the way we did it last time um, yes it wasn't a very efficient way of doing it this is going to be good very good look at that it's not full yet which is good to see but that is a very big loading wagon so if it can't even go one headland without being filled then it means that the yield is extremely high and this field won't need cutting again this year there just won't be time it's already late summer and I think actually no what I will do is I'm going to plow it up because we don't really need such a large grass area I'll probably buy a smaller field I think we'll put this in, the, in as an arable crop and do something much more interesting with it. Okay, so just getting back to the beginning. Let's see how full it is. I do need one of those inspection mods so we can see exactly how full it is from, uh, from here. Remote information. Telemetry. Uh, right, so I did want to go around twice. That is going to be a bit too tight for it, though. I think we'll actually go up the centre, just here. And as soon as we've tipped the first load, we are going to time lapse, and then we should be able to get most of it done in that time. Oh, look, it's full. Definitely full. Right, so that's 53,000 litres. That clearly means that we are doing extremely well. There is going to be a lot of grass going into the pit. How long has that been full for? Just there on the corner? Nope. Okay, quite some time. Uh, yeah, it would be good to have some information about how full it is. I think I might put some of it in the pit and a small amount of it in the fermenter. Because it can be handy just to have it in the pit. And then probably everything that's in the fermenter will go over to the BGA straight away, because that can be 
turn into biogas. We might need some of this for food or something. But yeah, as I said, we've got a stack of bales there. And they've been very kindly given to us. We started the map with them. There we go. Still two litres left. Come on. Come on, two litres. Okay, it's not going to go. Uh, right. Well, let's continue. I think it's probably going to be full again uh, by the time it gets to us. But it's an impressive setup. I'm very happy with it. We're absolutely flying through it. And I think that little stay attractor does a really good job. It doesn't seem very big, but it still can run that big windrow. Very good timing. There we go. It's 100%. I think I'll put this into the fermenter. I just don't know why you would have both. I'm guessing there is actually a purpose for for both of them being there. Maybe the fermenter is faster. Uh, yeah, I suppose it is. It does seem to give you fermented silage almost straight away. So that's a good idea. Good system. And yeah, I suppose having the pit is for more when you have loads and loads of grass to ferment. Higher capacity. Because it all has to go into a big silo in the fermenter. Not forgetting you don't have to compact it either, so that's another added benefit. And it's probably switched off. Yes. So we'll switch that on. There we go. The beacon is flashing. It's all processing. But it's looking very good. We are certainly going to get it finished today. I was meaning to have a look at the goats as well. Uh, I'm hoping that they're going to be okay. Yes, they are, but they're going to need a bit of water soon. They should be okay for today, though. So, yeah, progress is looking good. But I am really excited to dry the grain when we come to harvest it. It's not a very good field, but, yeah, it's still going to be interesting to do. We do need to buy some animals as well. Some more animals, like cows. Put that back onto Follow Me and we'll continue. I really don't know how many more loads there's going to be, probably two or three. It's a good field. Yeah, so we have, we've done it twice now, but that will be it. We'll get it ploughed up. And yeah, we'll get a winter crop put in. I'll have to have a look at the different options. I think this map, well I know this map has a few new crop types, like Sylphie, but I don't think it has all the multi-fruit. No, it's Clover, Rye and Sylphie, so maybe we can put Rye in, I'm not too sure, that might have to go in in the spring. We'll have to find out. Anyway, that's what we have left. I'm going to go with two or three more loads. It's great, it's really good.
Okay, so there we go. We've got another load going into the digester. Uh, we just have one more to go, I think. We're in this final corner, just here. Um, we'll see if we can squeeze it in, but yep, all I can say is we've done extremely well once again. I don't know if there's going to be another better way of selling it. Uh, I don't know if the BGA is the place to go, because uh, obviously they were getting digestate and biogas. Maybe you can just sell the silage as it is, as silage. Let's just see here. Not that it's an issue, because it's actually very good. Livestock dealer, silage grass, 292. Yeah, we'll probably stick with the BGA. Because then we get the digestate, so we make the money and we still get a product for free. And catch out with the loading wagon. You can really fly with this thing, 13 miles per hour. And it doesn't seem to be an issue with it being on the front. It seems absolutely fine. Yeah, we should have no issue at all fitting it in, but it should still be uh, a decent amount, maybe 60% full. This is fun, everybody's together. It's a bit crowded. And our final piece to cut, just here. Although it does get a bit wider. Yep, not going to quite fit that in. Well, it is congested. But that's probably the fastest I've cut that amount of land. That's gone really well. I'm pleased that I had the brainwave to do that because otherwise it would have taken forever. We'll be doing this in multiple episodes and it would just get a bit boring. Especially as we've just cut this field. So there we go. Switch all that off. Fold it all up. I'll just leave this tractor here for now. We should have the windrower. There it is. Helper F. I think actually I'll take over from this one. It's no point allowing it to struggle. Because it will struggle. It's Mr. Peace down there because it's getting very tight. going to be over 60% and this final load I think we'll put into the digester because I don't want to be compacting the pit forever we probably actually had too much for the digester although the capacity of that thing is a quarter of a million a quarter of a million litres it will take which is impressive so I don't know I don't know how much we have actually got there. Look at that. <laughs> I went for it and still missed a bit. But yeah, using the bigger machinery has definitely been easier. Look how much neater it looks compared to the previous cut. I'll just stop the worker and then we will go and tip this final load. But yeah, thank you worker. You've done a good job. Better stop the tractor as well. If we weren't... Actually, no, it probably still could do. Yeah, I was going to say, if we were just going to keep it as grass, we could spread digestate now, but you probably still can do that anyway, even if you're going to plough it. But I might plough it first, just to be sure. I'm going to attempt to reverse up to the digester in first-person view. I think the mirrors are aligned, so it shouldn't be too tricky. And I can look behind me, of course. I know it's roughly in that direction. Uh, right. A bit more that way. Too far that way. Yeah, much harder than real life. And there we go. So how much do we have? We have... Oh, look at that. In the digester alone, over 100,000 litres. So yeah, I don't think it would have all fit. 128,229, and in here we have 158,477, so no, it would not have all fit. 
Nice. We've done well. So that will be compacted. I'll get a worker to do that next time, using course play most likely, if it's compatible. Because um, yeah, I know that some mods are not compatible with this map, just because it has so many features, things will start to conflict. Let's just go and see the dog. But yeah, if you have a good recommendation for a name, good suggestion, please do let me know. How quickly is he eating? One litre. Okay, I think we'll be okay. Estimated food required. Two litres a year. Okay. <laughs> right. Yes. We'll be fine then. Where is he? Where's he lurking? He likes... Oh, there he is, next to the JCB. Hello. Yes. Absolutely. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.